five Humvees in Stevens' unit are patrolling a Baghdad neighborhood when... The lead truck takes on hostile fire. The Humvees race to surround the shooters. They cordon off an entire city block and start searching door to door. But the brazen snipers strike again. Thankfully, they miss, and Stephen and his unit continue the search. But it's hot work in the searing Iraqi summer. Uh, right now, Doc's just standing by the side of his truck. So we're trying to figure out what was going on with everything. That's Stephen right there, 10 months into his 12-month tour. Doc, as his buddies call him, is about to take a direct hit from a sniper's high-velocity rifle. Just 75 yards away, two Iraqi insurgents watch. They videotape their prey, and they wait for Stephen to turn towards them. If you listen closely, you can actually hear them talking as they wait for the perfect kill shot. I was up in the gunner's hatch and I heard him yell, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. I mean, my biggest fear was that we had lost our medic. It was very premeditated. I think that's the part that was the hardest for me, was watching, listening to them watch him. In the sniper's video, you can hear the insurgents as they wait to take the shot. I wasn't prepared for them to just have them in their sights for that incredibly long period of time. But the video only tells part of the story. Flashback to earlier that day. was down first thing that came to my mind was holy shit. I just was hanging out with this guy this morning and now he's shot but Steven is wearing state-of-the-art body armor back on that Baghdad street come on, come on, come on. private Steven Chitterer gets right up after being shot he got shot in the plate he's fine he runs for cover on the opposite side of the Humvee. Up in the turret, gunner Terrence Shellhart is amazed. Steve jumped right up, pointed to a direction where he thought the shot came from, and continued mission. Suddenly, the tables have turned. The GIs spot the van the snipers are hiding in, and the hunter becomes the hunted. <laughs> The snipers run for it, but Jim O'Brien is in the Humvee's gunner turret right behind them. I grabbed my M4 to, to stop them, fired a warning shot, didn't work. Switched over to my 50 cal machine gun, and I shot out three of the four tires and put a few rounds in the engine block. That finally stopped the van. The two snipers leap from the van and bolt. They lead soldiers on a wild chase. Iraqi civilians point the way to a rooftop, and a blood trail takes them to a yard where one of the snipers is hiding. The first troopers to get to the yard, two Iraqi soldiers and a U.S. medic. Doc, as buddies call him, Private Stephen Chitterer. The wounded sniper lays down his arms, and Stephen approaches. I took him into custody, patted him down, made sure that he didn't have any more weapons on him. After we had him in the custody, I started treating his wounds. The same individual that just tried to take my life, I'm now sitting in the front yard saving his. Hell of a thing to do, treat the guy that just shot you. He ended up actually saving his life. Yes, it was amazing. I'm not sure everyone would have handled it how Stephen did. Uh, and um, I think that makes him very special. But Stephen Chitterer says it's all in a day's work. No, it was more. Our job is friend, foe, or indifferent. We treat the wounds, 
to keep the guys alive. So I just did what I was trained to do and did my job. Our job is to try and make this country a better country. And most people over there understand what our mission is. As for the interceptor vest with the ceramic insert. As you can see, it's got a hole here. And if uh, I wasn't wearing this armor, it would have gone straight through, hit my heart, and I would have been dead before I hit the ground. Stephen had a bruise on his chest, and the bullet grazed his thumb. He lost the thumbnail, but otherwise was unharmed. When his tour ended, he came home to his upstate New York National Guard base. Of course, his whole family was waiting. Seeing that big, big guy get off the bus with that grin, it was joy beyond anything you could possibly comprehend to know that he survived that.